I'll show you how to do the increase, how to do the decrease, and how to cast off. And you'll end up with the coziest baby blanket that I don't think I want to give away. I think I want it for me. But stay tuned, I will show you how to do it. Now don't let the circular needle scare you off because I'm going to make this very easy for you. We will not be knitting in the round. Now we're going to start our increase row. We're going to start by knitting the first stitch. That's stitch number one. And now we're going to knit stitch number two and stitch number three. And now we're going to start our increase. We're going to do that by wrapping the wool from the back and we're going to bring it around the needle to the front to the right. And now we're going to go in just like we would normally and do another knit stitch. So right needle into the left stitch, wrap around and knit. And we're going to knit to the end of the row. So the same thing as row four, we're going to knit one, and we're going to knit two, and we're going to knit three. And the same as before, we're going to wrap the wool from behind, bring it around to the right, and then we're going to come in and do a knit stitch, and we're going to knit to the end of the row. So we have done two increase rows, so that means you should have eight stitches on your needle because there was one increase per row. So you're going to do this on every row exactly the same. So after a few rows of knitting, you can see how it's angling out because you've got your increases on each side. And here's where our increases are forming the little bit of a hole to make our edges and our borders for our blanket. Continue knitting exactly the same way with your increased rows until most of the ball of yarn is used up. So you're going to be forming a right angle and this is where we started. And this is forming the corner of your blanket. So we'll have to add our next ball of wool and I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's the end of my yarn from the blanket I'm knitting, but this yarn is really hard to demonstrate on, so I'm going to just show you with a piece of yarn that doesn't have the bulk to it. 
So pretend that this yarn here is attached to your blanket and you've got some left over here. You're going to bring it around and make a U-shaping like so. Now you're going to take your new ball of yarn, you're going to come in with the end of your yarn, you're going to come into the middle of the sloop and you're going underneath. I'm just going to hold this so I can pull it out a little bit. Okay, so right now you've got your new yarn going underneath. You're going to take your new yarn, you're going to come over this portion of the loop and over this portion of the loop and you're going to go under like so. Now if you take these two end pieces and these two end pieces and you pull, you've now made your knot. So I'll show you again using the actual yarn So I'm getting close to where I've tied my knot and attached my next ball of yarn. So just so I don't make a mistake, I'm just going to trim these off a bit shorter. Now, when you're knitting, you may choose to just knit all of this together as one piece of yarn or you can just choose to niche your one strand and later you come in with your darning needle and weave this into your blanket so they don't show. So two options. Here's my end, so watch, I'm going to go around. Two. and three. And that's all I'm going to do with that. And I'll trim those off afterwards. Let me just finish up this row. And being that we've already knitted them in, they should be secure. So you can just come in and trim those right now if you like. Be careful not to cut your knitted stitches. So I'm just going to hold my finger there and pull up and trim. And once you even out your knitted stitches again, they'll all disappear into your knitting. I'm going to continue in the same pattern until I have 129 stitches on my needle. So I've counted all my stitches on my needle and I have 85. Old man's way is just write out your rows on a piece of paper, which is what I've done here. And every time I do another row, I will just check it off. And that's what I'll be doing. So I'm starting row 86 and I'll see you when I get to row 129. All right. I now have 129 stitches knitted and now we're going to start our decrease row. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit the first two. Here's one and two. Now we're going to knit two together. So we're going to come in, there's one stitch, there's two stitches. We're going to knit them both together. So bring them both through the needle and that's knitting two together and we slide that off and we still need to have our pattern so we're still going to bring our yarn around and once you've got your yarn around we're going to now go in and we're going to knit two more together.
and that's the decrease. And you're going to do that on every start of each row. And for the rest of your row, as before, we're just going to knit all the way across. So continue to knit to the end and until you get to the next row and we're going to do that same decrease again. And I'm just finishing up that one row that we did our first decrease on and we're just knitting right to the end and then we're just going to turn this around again and now we're ready for the start of our decrease again always starting at the beginning of your row and knitting to the very end of your row so again we'll do that one more time so we're knitting two, one, and two. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna knit two together. And then we're still gonna bring our wool around. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna knit two together. And that's how we do each decrease row in the beginning. We're going to continue to do all your decreasing rows and knitting all the way to the end until you have six stitches on your needle. And this is where we started our blanket. We've done our increasing until we had 129 stitches. And now with our decreasing, we're forming the square. So I'm going to continue to decrease and then we will cast off. Well, here we go. We're on our last six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to knit three rows, just plain knitting, and then we're going to cast off. And now we can cast off. So to cast off, you're just going to knit one, knit two and then you're going to come in and take your needle on that first stitch bring it up and over that second knit stitch and slide it off and let's knit the next one come back to the, the stitch behind slide it up and over 